In this video, we're going to discuss advanced topics related to splitting in order. This includes when to use certain kinds of splits, how to split across payments, how to unsplit, and how to transfer a product from one order to another, and how to merge two separate orders. So here are the types of splits we have in Rescue POS. Easy split splits a check by dollar amount. Split by seat splits the items in the check by seat number. Itemized split is an advanced screen for splitting by item. Split order lets you select items in the order to be split off into an entirely different order. Merge order is the opposite of an order split and lets you merge two different orders into one. And transfer an item is not really a split but is closely related. This function lets you move an item from one separate order to another. So let's go through examples and look at each split. Use easy split when the guests have decided to split even or come up with their own dollar amount to pay. You will also use easy split when a single customer has multiple payment types, for example, a gift card and cash. To easy split an order, tap on the checkout button. Tap easy split. To add additional splits, tap the add button on the left and you can add unlimited splits to an order. By default, the check is split evenly across all checks. To modify the amount of the split, tap the split to highlight it. On the keypad, you can tap C to clear, then enter the new amount for the split. The remaining splits will adjust automatically to split the difference. To merge splits, tap the merge button on the top right. Select the splits to merge, and then tap the merge button. Tap the print button on the top right to print the check for the selected split. To delete a split, tap the delete button on the top right. If you tap save, your split settings will save to the order, allowing you to hold the order and leave the screen without losing your work. The unsplit order button will clear any saved splits. To pay a split, tap the pay button. Select the payment type to complete the payment. Split by seat. Use split by seat when you've got an order with seats and everyone is paying for their own meal. From the checkout screen, tap split by seat. Each seat is now a split in the order. You cannot add splits or move items on this screen. However, you can tap cancel, back out to the order, add seats or change items and seats here. When you go back to the split by seat screen, you will see the changes. You can merge tickets via the merge button in the top right. Select the tickets you'd like to merge. To pay a split, tap the pay button. And you can see we also have the option to easy split. Yes, you can split a split. And this is important if the guest has multiple payment methods they want to use. If you need more flexibility with your splitting, you can use itemized split. You can use itemized split when you want to split a check by item, including custom splitting shared items. This works well for double dates where four people are dining together, but they're probably only gonna have two checks. From the checkout screen, tap itemized split. If you had seats in the order, it will start by automatically splitting by seat but you do not need to have seats in an order to use itemized split. To add a split, tap the add button. To delete a split, tap the X on the top left corner of the split. To move individual items between splits, tap the item, then tap the split you'd like to move it to. Tap a selected item again to deselect it. To split shared items, tap the product then use the split even or split custom buttons. Merge on the top right allows you to quickly merge multiple splits. To print the ticket and bring it to the customer's table, tap the print button on the top right of each split. Save in the top right will save your splits so you can come back to them later. Tap the pay button at the bottom of the split to pay. And you can easy split the split for example, if the customer is paying with two different payment types. 
Now, that's all the ways to split a check at payment, but there's another kind of split that splits the order. The payment splits we just covered are used when the guests have dined together and are paying at the same time. There are a number of reasons you don't want to leave an order partially paid, including that you can't enter tips until the order is settled. Also, you don't want to be adding items to tabs with partial payments because the math regarding taxes gets fuzzy and increases the likelihood that you'll need to force settle the order. An order split is used when a group comes in and appears they will stay together, but then they start to scatter and do their own thing. And this frequently happens at bars that sell food. If you see this happen, use the split order function before you start taking payments. From the open order, tap the more button in the bottom left of the screen. Tap the split order button. Here you can select items to remove from the current order and will be saved to a new order. Tap the save button on the top right of the screen to execute the order split. The pop-up asks you which order you want to view. The existing order is the one that you split the items from. The new order is the one that you split the items to. And you can now handle this order exactly as you would any other order, including adding items and splitting at checkout if needed. Merge order. The opposite of splitting an order is merging two separate orders. The most common scenario for this is someone who wants to start an order at the bar while they're waiting for their table or waiting for their friends before being seated for food. To merge two orders, start with the order you want to merge into. Tap the More button on the left of the screen. Tap the Merge button. Select the order you want to merge in. The items from the selected order will move into this order, and the order you select will settle as a canceled order with the status merged. Transfer items. If you need to move an item across orders, you can transfer by item. This is useful in a bar where a patron insists on buying somebody else's drink that they've already ordered. To transfer items, from the order tap the more button. Tap Edit Multiple. Select the items that you wish to transfer. Tap the Transfer button. In the window, select the order that the items will be transferred to. Tap Transfer to confirm. The item is removed from the original order and has moved to the selected order. Entering Tips. Issuing Refunds. Entering tips can become a little more complicated when you have a split, so let's go through it together. On the order screen, you'll see the order with the status Awaiting Patron Signature. This means the tips need to be entered to settle the order. Although the payments were separate, they are all still under one order. Tap the order to enter the tips. You'll see each split along the bottom of the screen. If a credit card or gift card was used for payment, the last four of the card number will be displayed next to the amount to help you enter the correct tip. This number will also be printed on the credit authorization slip that the customer signed. Tap the Enter Tip button. You must enter a tip for each split in the order to settle the order. You can now find the order under Settled Orders. To change a tip, tap the order and then tap Transactions. Select the split you want to change the tip for. You can also issue a refund for a split from the Transactions screen. Tap the split you want to issue a refund for and then tap the Refund button. You can do a full refund, a custom refund, or refund by item but be very careful with itemized refunds on a split order. This can cause payments that have already been completed to become incorrect. This will prevent you from settling the order and use of the force settle function would be required. Instead, it's better to choose a custom refund rather than an itemized refund when dealing with split payments. Alternatively, if all the guests are still there and you want to rerun their cards, 
you could reopen the order and void the payments instead of issuing a refund. If you tap a settled order, you can reopen it. But take note, you cannot reopen a split order that has any refunds associated with it. We always advise you to be careful when reopening orders. But if you mix up the cards when paying and you still have the customer's cards in your hand, you can reopen the order, void the payments, and run the correct cards. Well, that about covers everything you would need to know about splitting orders. We covered how to split payments three different ways, how to split an order, how to merge an order, how to transfer items. We showed you how to enter tips for orders with splits, how to issue refunds to an order with splits, and how to reopen an order if you need to. Thank you for watching.